Hello, how are you doing and welcome back to the channel. So the top four in the Premiership is confirmed. The semi-final lineup is pretty much locked in after Saracens beat London Irish on the weekend. So I'm going to get into that in this video and some thoughts more generally on where the Premiership currently is. It's been a weird old season, so I'll get into all of that. Make sure you do drop a comment down below about the semi-final lineup and also more generally about the wider points I make in this video. And also hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. That's always hugely appreciated. But all right, let's get into it. So it's a bit of a shame, really, that still with a round to go in the Premiership, we know who the top four are going to be. And barring Leicester getting resoundly beaten on the final weekend. Uh, we know who will be playing who as well in those semi-finals, which is sometimes how it goes. I think it's a little bit of a shame, but this is all after Saracens beat London Irish on the weekend. London Irish went into that game with two games in hand on Northampton. The nature of the Premiership at the moment means that there are bye weeks because Northampton played on the Friday. Essentially, London Irish knew exactly what they had to do to get that top four spot, but it involved getting wins in those final two games and they came up against the Saracens side at the Stone X where Saracens haven't lost all season and they weren't able to get the job done despite having quite a good opening 20 minutes or so but ultimately Saracens quality kind of proved in the end and they were able to pull away and it was a pretty comprehensive relatively easy victory and I think from a London Irish perspective there was a little bit of frustration here because Saracens rested players when they played Northampton the week before when Northampton beat them and then they named a pretty strong side this weekend and I think you know, look, the reality is Saracens have earned the right to be able to do that. I can understand that frustration from a London Irish perspective. But from a Saracens perspective, I think if you look at those weeks and you look at when you want to play players, it makes more sense for them to rest them against Northampton and play them against London Irish. So it was just the way that it fell really from a Saracens and from a London Irish perspective. But it means that this is what the table looks like. Saracens comfortably top. You then got Sale, who've been top pretty much all year, followed by Leicester and Northampton, who are on the same amount of points, but Leicester still have a game to play, which means we probably expect the semi finals to be Saracens against Northampton and Sale against Leicester Tigers. It's kind of funny, really. You know how I mentioned that with a round to spare, we know who the semi final lineup is. It wasn't that long ago that it was what, sort of nine teams we were looking at could potentially get into. The top four is absolutely bonkers, but everyone's fallen away pretty quickly, really. And I just feel like I remember doing a video around Christmas time, around New Year, where I spoke about how exciting the race for the top four was in the Premiership, but that the competition as a whole, more generally, I don't think is I don't think is in a great place. And unfortunately, I haven't really seen anything this season to deter me from that view. I think we get some brilliant games, some of them are like basketball games, incredibly high scoring. But I just think if you look at the moment in the Premiership, there, I feel like there's a lack of quality. I think that's partly down to the salary cap. I think it's partly down to the general financial position of the clubs. You look at what happened to Wasps and Worcester. You look at the fact that, as I mentioned already, we have to have a bye week because there's an uneven amount of teams in the division. It just, it doesn't flow very well at the moment, does it? In the We'll have three or four weeks of the Premiership and then we'll break for a couple of weeks and it will be Premiership Cup followed by Champions Cup. So then a month might go by and then we're back into the Premiership. And then you have the Six Nations happening and that's always a bit of a weird time anyway because it gets, it gets less traction and less eyeballs. So it's kind of in the periphery there and it just feels to me like the whole season feels stagnated it feels stop start there's no flow to it it's very hard to build up any momentum to build up any real kind of storytelling I suppose I think that's probably part of the the struggle with the premiership at the moment I think the solution to that is an incredibly difficult one as I've said many times on this channel I don't envy the decision makers across the game who have to kind of structure it and work out the calendar but at the moment personally I just feel like it's in a little bit of a mess and I don't know what the solution to that is, but I think it does hamper the Premiership. And I think this season personally, I don't think has been a great season for the Premiership. Hopefully we get a couple of unbelievable semi-finals and a brilliant final, which will maybe salvage something. But I think if we're speaking as a whole, if we're speaking generally, to me, I don't know, it all just feels a little bit meh. But you can drop a comment down below and let me know if you disagree or if you agree with me. I'm sure plenty of people will have an opinion on that. And I guess it also leads me on to the fact that 
all season long, it's kind of felt like we're destined for a final involving Saracens and most likely against Sale. I will give Leicester Tigers credit because they have done enough just to make me pause there for a moment and wonder whether Leicester could go and get the job done against Sale up in Manchester. But I think the fact that home advantage is so important, I think the stats say so, it's something like it's over 80% of home semi-finalists win. Getting that home advantage for the semi-final in that one-off game is so important. Northampton have been pretty terrible on the road all season. I don't give them much hope against Saracens. Leicester have rebounded a bit, though. Do they have enough to go away to sale and get the job done? I suppose that's the interesting semi-final. But I do feel, and I have felt for most of the season, that it's pretty likely we all know where it's going to end up at Twickenham. It's going to be Saracens against sale. But maybe, maybe Leicester could do enough there. I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe I might just be eating my prediction a little bit there just because I think the way in which Leicester have responded and the type of game plan Leicester have as well, actually, is that kind of they match up well with Sale. Who can get the better of the other there will be really fascinating. And then I suppose it's going to be a question of of whether the Leicester or the Sale game plan has enough in it to do a job on Saracens. I mean, Saracens are clearly, I think, the best team in the league, really. I'd be pretty surprised if they didn't end up winning the Premiership, but... They do have a lot of injuries to contend with and to deal with. So I guess we will wait and see. But when I look at these semi-finals, Saracens Northampton, I think, is a bit of a walkover, really. Saints fans won't like me saying with it. But, I mean, look at, look at Northampton's record. They've played 20, they've won 11, and they've lost 9. And their record away from home, as I say already, isn't great. Sale and Leicester, maybe that will be a more intriguing game, actually, because Sale's form maybe hasn't been quite as dominant as it was earlier in the season. Leicester have kind of... Uh, kicked on really, haven't they, after Steve Borthwick left. So we'll wait and see. But that's kind of my feel generally about the Premiership at the moment and the Premiership this season. That is just not that great. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. I'll continue to cover it. I'll continue to watch it every weekend. I'm hoping to be at the Premiership final, but I might have to work elsewhere. So we'll wait and see. Let me know what you think down below about everything I've touched upon in this video. What do you make of that top four and those semi-finals? Are you interested? Are you engaged and intrigued in the matchups? We shall see, which we have to wait now because we've got another round of Europe. Then we'll finally have the end of the pre Premiership season. Then it'll be into the semi-finals. So Again, going back to the calendar, we still have a little bit of time to wait before we actually get round to it. But let me know what you think down below. Like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Next one.